Hey everyone, I'm not Dan, but in this video I'm going to show you how to put together ionic formulas. It's... Alright chemistry fans, welcome back. Be sure to grab your periodic table so you can make some quick little notes on this and you'll need this in order to make these ionic compounds. So group one atoms, when they become ions, they all have a charge of plus one. Uh, group two has a charge of plus two. Group three is plus three. We're going to skip group four. Group five is negative three. Group six is negative two. Group seven is negative one. And group eight, because they're already stable, has a charge of zero. Okay, now we're going to use that information as we try to put these ions together and make compounds. Okay, so biggest rule that you need to understand about forming ionic compounds. The overall charge of a compound must be zero. Okay, so yes you got all sorts of different charges, plus one, plus two, plus three, so on and so forth, but they all have to add up to equal zero. And this is how we figure out what the subscripts are. Okay, so for example, right, so you could see like you get a little Ag plus one, and you got a chlorine, which is a negative one. So you can put them together, and it's really easy to see that they already add up to zero, right? Plus one plus a negative one equals zero, so you just need one of each. Same thing for, so like cobalt here, which is plus two, and sulfur, which is negative two, right? They already match up. They add up to zero, just one of each. Same thing if you get something that's a plus three, like aluminum here, or negative three, like nitrogen, right? They add up to zero, so you just need one of each. But what happens if you have something like a negative two and a positive one? So when you put these together, they clearly don't add up to zero. So what do you do? What you need to do is you actually look for the least common multiple. And what's really nice about all this is that there's only so many combinations that can actually happen. Okay, so if you have a one and a two, whether it's a positive one, negative two, or if it's a uh, plus two and a negative one, it really doesn't matter what the charge is. If the numbers are one and two, okay, well the lowest common multiple here is two, right? For example, like the one I just showed you, right, with the uh, silver plus one and the sulfur negative two, in order to match, uh, make this add up to zero, I need two silvers like so right so two silvers and then the one sulfur and then that adds up to zero okay um, if you have a uh, one and a three so like if it was a you know a silver plus one and then the nitrogen negative three well the lowest common multiple there is three right so I'm gonna need three silvers to balance out the negative three from the nitrogen what if though you have a two and a three. Well, the lowest common multiple there is actually six, right? So what I'm gonna end up needing to do is since this is a positive two, I need three of these to make positive six, and this is a negative three, so I need two of these to make a negative six, and then once you put them all together, positive six, negative six, that equals zero, okay? So that's the basics right there. But let's see how that all plays out. In order to do that, I feel like it's time for another episode of the Atomic Game Show. It looks like I'm gonna have to jump. Today is alright for tonight. 